Virginia, the home of the Virginia Tech Hokies. The faithful have flocked to Lane Stadium, and why not? Their team is ranked third in the nation, and quarterback Marcus Vick, he is worth the price of admission all by himself. The Marshall Thundering Herd provide the challenge today. They have come 180 miles down the road for their crack at the 5-0 Hokies. It's homecoming weekend on the campus of Virginia Tech. The memories here at Lane Stadium are pretty nice, but the future is unlimited. The beloved Hokies today Marshall Thundering Herd against the third-ranked Hokies of Virginia Tech. The second, third, and three, and this time passes incomplete. Justin Hamilton comes in and makes a nice defensive play to knock the ball away. Well, this is <laughs> not let him get out of here and go to Penn State or, or, uh, or Virginia. Marcus Vick with time searches the field, finds a man complete to Josh Morgan, who crosses midfield and gets to the 40 yard line. Pick up of 24. Well, you remaining part of the schedule. Yeah, they, they pound you with Cedric Humes and then Emo is the. The, uh, the guy that the change it. Hughes, look for the corner. No signal yet. There is a signal. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Ability to get to the edge. A good block on the outside. Jimmy Martin, a big left tackle, just kind of securing the corner, allowing for Cedric Hughes. 2005. Hokey starting to flex a little bit of muscle. Humes from 11 yards out. No problem. We have to find out, though. Four receivers in the game for Virginia Tech. Marcus Vick, step out of the shotgun. Pocket collapses. He skedaddles. Gets it out. First down yards. That's just one of the things he can do. Yeah, he's going to take a little shot just to let him know Big Brother's here. They're going to run it again with Humes. And Humes. Good game. 40-yard line, a pickup of 10 before Dennis Thornton. Touchdown so far for Virginia Tech. He's in the backfield, and he has the football. And Humes, big gain on the left side, and he picks up a dozen yards. Virginia Tech, third down and three. The golf fight. By this magic. Marcus Vick flushed out of the pocket, showing off those fantastic wheels. Gets the first down and cuts out of bounds after a gain of seven. Or remains in the game. Vic slides it out. Eddie Royal, his first catch in space, gets inside the 15 yard line. Finally brought down. His brother Chris combines. Or with the football, bounces right with a chance. Brand patience on, on the run. Running behind big Dwayne Brown right there. Just patience. Letting those big guys set it up. And then all of a sudden, there's the speed and explosion that the coaching staff talks about leaping into the end zone. The younger 19-year-old freshman, Brandon Orr, his second touchdown of the season. We'll be back. 51 seconds remaining for half. Third down and long. Morris flushed and dropped. Basically, the entire defensive line going to be credited with that sack. Well, That's the first time he's been sacked all day. Yeah, and you had good have to take hits in that arm, so. A little while before they get him back. Marcus Vick to throw as a man. Good catch, good run. Justin Harper with the catch. Gain of 13. Take a look at your first half numbers. Brought to you by Gillette. Yeah, I think they're checking off Marcus Vick. Four. Skips across the 50, gets inside the 40, or with a chance, inside the 5, out at the 1, 51-yard gain for the freshman Orr. The only thing that can recruit in, and you're going to see it here, the ability to hit the home run, look at the change of direction, and then all of a sudden the acceleration on the outside, catching his balance. Boy, he is going to be fun to watch. We talked about the comparison to Kevin Owens, who had a, a lot of success. Look at the, the uh, blocking down the field and part of the uh, the receivers for Virginia Tech as well. But reminds me of Kevin Jones, who's not. Brandon Pace comes on, 19-yard field goal. 
And the chip shot is that. It's a chip shot. And it makes it a 10 point lead for Chad Pennington. They want to hand it off on first down, and that defense for the Hokies getting rabid. James Anderson and Vince Hall combined to bring down the runner for a loss of one. Let's go. Second down and 11. Oh, ball comes loose. Touchdown, Vince Hall. We have seen this script before. An opportunistic defense scoring touchdowns that just demoralize the other team. Bernie Morris trying to make a guy miss. Chris Ellis, an exceptional athlete. And boy, the guy he was recruited with, Vince Hall, taking it in to the end zone. Those two guys, sweet mates for an entire semester. Excellent offensive play on the part of Chris Ellis here, just applying pressure. And there, Bernie Morris unable to make a miss. He's just kind of pokes the football out. It's up in the air. And then his sweet mate buddy, Vince Hall, from their freshman year, comes up with a, with a fumble recovery and the touchdown for his ACL, his MCL, and his PCL. There's no other CLs in there. It's, that's everything. Every CL, huh? Pass is complete. Josh Morgan spins out of a tackle and is down at the 48-yard line. Big play. Big to Morgan. Gain of 25. Virginia Tech now with three plays of over 20 yards a game. Two of them have come here in the second half. Make it three of them in the second half. David Clowney is their deep threat, and they talked about his speed, all 4-3-3 of it in the 40, and they go pump fake. Marcus Vick makes this play there in two-deep coverage. He holds the safety and goes back outside to David Clowney up the sideline. Watch pump fake here. Play action, pump fake, holds the safety, and then lets one rip, and right into your living rooms comes David Clowney. Right there, the ability to break a tackle by Willie. Well, you're going to see it here. It just looks like quarter coverage, but to start, they're going to get play action. You'll see the strong safety rotate up and the safety rotate back. That's going to create pretty much one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Marcus Vick with the play fake. He's going to hold the safety with the pump and then lets one rip and wide open is David Cloney on the outside, their fastest receiver on this team. Boy, getting himself into the end zone. The side of the run here. It out. And Orr picks up 11 yards, finally pushed out of bounds by Chris Hawkins. Vick, quarterback. Two receivers to the left. And off goes to Orr. And Orr! Oh, almost broken. Brought down by the shoe tops, Matt Couch, the last line. I know when the sign of a good football player is when they make it look easy, when they look like they're barely working. Right there, Brandon Orr looks like he's barely working. Then all of a sudden, you see acceleration, just allowing guys to set up blocks, the pulling of the offensive lineman, Danny McGrath, and then base 90% on the year coming into this ball game. Expect him to be 90%. He's only kicking 23 yarders. That's right. He knocks it, and it is now 34 to 7. 20. They'd love to stay on the field here, but it's going to be a difficult task. Third down and 13. Morse from behind loses the football, jumped on by a lineman. A sack, negative yard. Allen will be the lead blocker in front of George Bell if they choose to run it, and they do. Allen and Bell both do their jobs. Another touchdown, Virginia Tech. That is the second time in the second half that Maybe debatable just... plays won't even review. Yeah. Intercepted. Virginia Tech, another turnover. Justin Hamilton, the interception. He went three on the year, and Frank Beamer, perfection Final continues. This team is now 6-0. They are firing on all cylinders yeah. early in this season. That's it.